Hello, my name is Andrew with Hoffman Lawn Fertilization. Today I want to talk to you about how to turn a zero turn mower without leaving turn marks. First, we're going to give you a demonstration of what not to do and what we're trying to avoid. All right, so now that we've seen some examples of what we're trying not to do, let's show you how to make a proper turn with a zero turn mower. And the key to this is to make at least a three to four point turn. So when using a zero turn mower on a property, it's always important to be as soft and gentle on the lawn as possible. Turn marks is by far one of the biggest complaints we get. So even when making a proper turn on a lawn, you gotta think that we might be mowing this property every single week, which could mean 28 to 30 visits per season. So even if you're making a proper turn on that property, you could continue to stress the grass. So what I like to emphasize is each time you go out to visit that lawn, try and turn in different areas so that way you can kind of spread that out throughout the entire property and not just confine that to that same turn spot every single time. All right, so not only are we trying to avoid turn marks, but when you are making that pass with the lawn mower and you're getting to the end of the line, make sure that you slow down gradually. If you stop abruptly, it can make a skid mark across the lawn, and that's what we're trying to avoid here. <laughs> 